Hello, and Katya here. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I have a coaster. Um, it's uh, for the drinks uh, when you go to a bar or something, when they put your glass on. Uh, and that will be my base. And I have some shipboards, leftovers, and also the feathers. So I'm thinking it will be something that will hang on the wall. So I have a crocodile and I'm so sorry that I'm out of camera. Uh, I'm doing some holes so it uh, can hang on the wall. And I want to have some metal eyelets. And uh, sometimes I don't really know how to use a crocodile and I'm a little bit too lazy to exactly turn the that it will match perfectly but it works fine for me anyway these you can find always things around you that you can use for base for your projects and uh, this one i uh, when i was in uh, frankfurt for the creative world we was in the restaurant and uh, i get my water and on the coaster and i bring it home perfect for a small project like this and you see me trying out the composition uh, with the left uh, small pieces of shipboard and here i have graphite paste texture paste uh, and i adding it with the spatula uh, because I want uh, some uh, something here uh, on my background. Uh, I could have used a stencil or something like that but I didn't want my background to be too busy. Uh, that's why I was adding it with uh, a spatula. I want to give it a little bit of interest but to not uh, make and here I have uh, impasto paints linen and Victorian green and also have my water bottle uh, the impasto paint is really heavy bodied uh, and sometimes you need to spray water and I'm not uh, painting it perfectly uh, and the house also I have paint but not perfectly either and now you see me trying out the small wooden pieces that I want to have in the background and yes the circle of what I will have in the background it comes also from the from a jar from inside a jar so I have like picking things what I have on my table basically for this project uh, this wooden pieces I glue with a 3d gloss gel uh, you can use glue or glue gun that's your choice uh, and here I try to do a composition I try to put them like um, on, on the same way and to, to not make it too messy and uh, you see I do them more uh, diagonal I try to say because no horizontal you see I, I put the small wooden pieces because the house is more long uh, that's to make my composition more I think uh, feels better for the eyes I think I hope you understand what I mean and um, you will find that the the leftover piece what I have here uh, that I'm thinking to have uh, under my house I forgot it when I was sitting and doing it and sometimes when I'm recording I'm taking a break so I don't remember exactly what I do now it will be drying here and um, I want to add these feathers here. Mm. So I have uh, one, 
Tim Holtz ruler that it makes easy to make uh, the middle one. Uh, I'm the lazy one. Some t I d usually I only do my mark without measuring at all. And uh, but I use my crocodile again and adding a, a eyelet. I hope you enjoy my video and please let me know what you think and uh, I'm happy for all of you and I will try I read all your uh, comments uh, so please if you have any questions at all please uh, I try to answer them now I have a heavy body uh, white gesso and I'm carefully uh, paint right now not all over it because I think the darkness of the graphite paste uh, give uh, the interest what I'm looking for so you see me trying out so I'm happy and uh, now it's time to do the vintage feeling and I have some watercolors but I start here and uh, find out that no it's not so dark that I want I'm adding a more dark brown and a little bit black and I want to have much pigment for this technique to work you can't have too much water and that then I spraying off and dabbing off some excess and on some places uh, brown colors will stay more and uh, when I'm doing like this, I always also add the watercolor on the background and uh, adding water and playing off. And if you want to have more dark, uh, do more of the pigment and uh, use less water. So here you can decide. And you see me adding more uh, on the edges and around the eyelets before I was completely happy. And of course, between many layers and like that, before I go on, I try to heat it. And here I want to tone it down a little bit, so I am added a very thin coat of uh, white gesso. And uh, I also add some shipboard leftovers in the back side of the house's window because I want them to be uh, showing white and not going to the background. So uh, adding the shipboard uh, pieces and I have could have any colors uh, there if I would like, but the white one uh, will be perfect for this uh, project. And now I'm trying out how I will add the fence and the little uh, bird. And um, it's time for gluing. And that was the most difficult one here. I have some green moss. Uh, and with the 3D material and also adding the branch, small piece of branch. And it had been drying. Uh, Many, for many weeks at home and I'm struggled so hard you can see and my branches go when the and the moss go away so I struggled many many times but I don't give up and I know when everything is on place it's only to leave it like that and the 3D gel or if you have some other mediums it will stay perfectly. Uh, here I have uh, could have used the 3D the, uh, the, the glue gun but um, like I said I didn't have it uh, on place so I didn't use it. And you see me, I'm so 
trying to do the composition to go off and off and on and really a struggle before they are in place so I was uh, wanted to show you that that it's uh, it can be tricky sometimes but to not give up and uh, you see me working hard with that but that's uh, the way uh, that you sometimes uh, you don't know how it will go and or how, or how it will end and that's okay and that's uh, one part of the process yes and if you'll please if you like please give the thumbs up and uh, if you subscribe to my channel i'm so so happy most of all i'm happy if you watch my videos leave a comment and uh, yes uh, happy if you also share and if you subscribe you can click the bell button so you will like, get a notification when i upload a new video and uh, i enjoy you all of you here i have uh, MDF uh, left piece over. Yes, I keep in my staff so much leftovers and try to be like um, uh, say everything and try to find a use for them to not throw everything in the garbage. And like I said, you see me here struggle again, it will move and uh, go away but I think after this uh, I was li really leaving it for dry for many hours uh, because I realized I can't do anything before it's uh, really glued down so be patient and uh, when you do your projects and sometimes can, it can be tricky uh, but don't give up uh, that's my advice for you. Uh, this uh, should be fun and uh, challenging for yourself. And uh, it can always be like that. I think my uh, small decor or small piece of mixed media project it's uh, I like it and you who know you know I really like the vintage touch or feelings uh, I really should do something with color and like that next time I will do I know it will come some more vintage uh, projects but I will try to do some more springy ones. But you can leave me in the comment what kind of videos you like me to do. Or you have a product or a color combination or something you want me to explain. I do it. I would be so, so happy if you write to me. Uh, I would like to see this or I like you to show me or learn me or do this kind of project or journaling or canvas or layout was a long time or you want a card making card making perhaps let me know and uh, I um, I can do it not a problem here I have some stickers and they are from Tim Holtz uh, it's not necessary to have the title here uh, but I'm thinking to give this for a friend, so uh, it uh, says free to fly, and uh, that's uh, like advice uh, for my friend. So uh, to be feel to fly to do to do new things. So that's why I wanted to have a title. And here I have like a wire because I need to. Uh, hang this project on the wall so I'm uh, adding a wire you could have a string or a ribbon it's uh, your choice and I'm so happy you are with me and uh, please uh, please let me know and 
I hope you enjoy my video and uh, I really hope to see you soon again. And you see me here complete the video. I'm a little bit sorry that I'm not uh, exactly showing you what you do, but I was adding the string, uh, adding the wire in the bottom, and I think everything is glued, and I have my small piece of art. So happy, and I hope to see you soon again in my next tutorial. See you, and take care.